Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play Fair series of StarCraft. It's been a while since we did failures, but I haven't really felt like doing failures lately. And yes, I know I should work on Dragon Age and such, but I haven't really felt like that either. So anyway, we're going to do some Zerg. Cause Zerg are fun. Zerg campaign, over my the swarms have crushed the meager human resistance and laid waste to nine of the thirteen Terran worlds. Shortly after the fall of the Terran capital world to Arsonas, the main Plotas fleet abandoned the Terran center. Now efforts continue on Arsonas to weed out the remaining Plotas forces. Among the ruins on the Confederate capital world of Tarsonis. Awaken, my child, and embrace the glory that is your birthright. Know that I am the Overmind, the eternal will of the Swarm, and that you have been created to serve me. Behold that I shall set you amongst the greatest of my cerebrates, that you might benefit from their wisdom and experience. Yet your purpose is unique. While they carry forth my will to the innumerable broods, you have but one charge entrusted to your care. For I have found a creature that may yet become the greatest of my agents. Even now, it resides within a protective chrysalis, awaiting its rebirth into the swarm. You must watch over the chrysalis, and ensure that no harm comes to the creature within it. Go now, and keep safe my prize. So basically, protect the... thingy. Simple enough. Our surveillance of that tree in the show must be constructed on creep. Grave can be created by building. The hatchery is yeah, the heart stuff. of any Zerg colony. It spontaneously generates larvae, which in turn are used to spawn your various warriors and minions. Now, create a drone and start gathering resources. <laughs> So slow compared to Starcraft 2. Spawn more overlords. Wow. Seriously. Right off the bat, spawn more overlords. Oh, that's nice. Man, yeah, that'll give me stimmy to spawn two. Overlords provide control for your minions. As your forces grow in number, you must hatch more overlords to control them. Uh, yes, get back. Yes, get back. To create new warrior strains, you must generate the various hive structures. The drones themselves mutate into these structures. Yet be careful. Never use your last drone to make a building. Yeah, that's a stupid idea. can only implant themselves upon the creep. You can make creep colonies to extend the creep, but only a hatchery can be built upon open ground. Squirmy tentacle building. Yeah. Oh, 
Clover Mind is watching. Look and watch. He stares into your soul. It's nice how we're not being attached yet. I say yet. Zerglings. Zerglings. And we can only have trail. Because the game hates us. That would be nice to have. and the hive cluster. You must not allow them to leave here alive. Do 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 Guys, it's showtime. Thanks, guys. Evolution complete. That's gonna come. That's not good.
Secondly, we're going to need to hide on this if we can get this. Eh, I should stop for a minute. You require more minerals. I know, I know. You don't get that silly 12 unit limit to your groups. Oh no, you can make loads of circlings. Let's send them in waves, which is always fun. But instead, we're limited to 12 per group. You require more minerals. Yes, yes, I know. Sad face. Okay. Make enough one of those. You know what? You just go. You just go fine. to need to start attacking us. Evolution. But first, some self building. Cause why not? There, you guys got mine. You make me a uh, no for some colony. And you two. 
Yeah, work on that. Let's go poke their defenses. Units. 
this at times. Be there with that. Crucial information. Like you, you're wounded. Not too much. Oh. Thank you all and have a nice day.